Okay, welcome back. So hopefully you watched our, our conceptual video on sort of the development of these ideas of a confidence interval. So let's go through an example now. All right, so we, we've got some bacteria here and we wanna know how much, we wanna estimate the amount of bacteria that could be found on this equipment that we're looking at. All right, so, and our goal here is to construct a 90% confidence interval for the true mean density. The density is in units of millions of bacteria per milliliter of fluid. Okay, so really, first of all, before we do any of this stuff, we should make sure, does our central limit theorem check out? Can we assume normality? Can we use the Z? Can we standardize all this stuff? All right, well, we see, okay, three measurements were taken. Well, that's a pretty small sample size. That's an N equal to three. But the population we're working with is normally distributed. Okay, so we know when the population is normally distributed, sample size, we're good to go in most cases. All right, so we'll plug into this formula that we developed previously. So we know really the only hard part of plugging into these formulas just finding that correct critical value. Okay, so our critical value, that's based on our confidence level. So what is our confidence level here? Well, we wanted a 90% interval. Okay, so for a 90% 90 confidence interval, remember what we do, we take one minus that in decimal form, that leaves us the 0.1, that gives us what we call alpha. We take alpha, divide it by two, because there's two sides of this interval, and that leaves us with 0.05. All right, we look up 0.05 in our table, so we can, we can do that now. Okay, so where is our table? So the closest thing I've got to 0.05, all right, now here we go. I've got a 0 0.0505, and I've got a 0 0.0495. Okay, so I don't have exactly 0.05, but we notice 0.05 is right between these two values. That's right between 1.64 and 1.65. Okay, so really it'd be smarter to split the difference there and call it 1.645. Okay, so usually when we're dealing with 90%, the critical value we use is 1.645. All right, I can check myself with technology, pop it into Excel, and I can get an answer, a more precise answer to more decimal places. Remember what this 1.645, remember that was an estimate. All right, if we want something more precise, maybe use technology. All right, so we've got, so just now just plugging into our formula, using that 28, that was our sample mean, one, our population standard deviation, three, our sample size, 1.645, our critical value. Do the math, and there we go. We've got our interval displayed in a bunch of different ways. So once you find this critical value, hopefully the math isn't the hard part, right? We gotta know how to find the right critical value, and we gotta know well, what do these numbers mean? What is this, how do we interpret this thing? All right, it all goes back to the, the whole objective. All right here we're trying to estimate mu. Mu here was the the mean density of this bacteria on this measurement instrument. Okay, so we can say that we are about 90% confident in our answer here. 95% confident that this interval we just created captures the parameter we're looking for. In this case, the parameter we're looking for happens to be the true mean density of of bacteria on this on this equipment. All right, so thanks for tuning in and we'll expand on confidence intervals more in the future.